Here are my tools and resources for beginner, intermediate, and advanced level Korean learners. Now, as a teacher, I have access to a large and powerful stash of Korean learning tools that I could share with you. However, my tools are too strong for you, learner. I'm just kidding, here's everything useful. First, the obvious tool to get, a dictionary. There are many online dictionaries out there, but I've found Naver Dictionary to be the most powerful. In fact, I made an entire video all about how to get the most out of Naver Dictionary that I'll also link below. But if you're a beginner and want something simpler than Naver Dictionary, I also recommend the Korean English Learner's Dictionary. While it has less information than Naver Dictionary, it still has just enough and it's easier to use. Next, for typing in Korean, I have several resources, starting with one that I made, a free typing game called Hangul Attack. You can learn the Korean keyboard and improve your typing speed at the same time. Speaking of keyboards, here's a resource I've never shared before, an online Korean keyboard that you can type English letters into. Please don't make me regret sharing this one. But if you haven't learned how to type yet and you just want to copy something down that you saw, it can help you out in an emergency. Just also make sure to learn how to type, and I'll link a tutorial in the description below for how you can do that. Next, if you're intermediate level or higher, you're going to need some reading practice, and I highly recommend the Kids Donga Daily Newspaper. Now, although it's for kids in Korea, that doesn't mean it's for beginning learners, but it's relatively simple, and you should be able to read it with a dictionary and some time. Or if you're not into the news, you can also read webtoons, which are comics that are designed to be read on a smartphone, so you can practice reading Korean wherever you are. Technically, yes, you can read in the bathroom. Something that you can also do as an intermediate level or higher is listen to podcasts. And I'll add a link to a free podcast app that I also use in the description below. Speaking of apps though, let's talk about some Korean learning apps. Now, a lot of people think that if they just download the perfect app, that they'll somehow become fluent in Korean, almost like something out of the matrix. I know, Han Gul. Show me. Do you think that's Han Gul you're writing? There is no perfect app, but there are some situations where they can be helpful. First, when it comes to practicing Korean, the best way to do that is by making Korean friends. No matter your level, you can use the apps HelloTalk or Tandem to find language exchange partners or real life friends. Just know that when you use these apps, like any language exchange app, you're interacting with other people and real people are sometimes interesting. Another type of app that you can get is for studying vocabulary. And my favorite program for doing that is Anki, which is a program for making digital flashcards. Now, how to use Anki is itself a whole separate topic. And I also made a video about how you can get the most out of it that I'll link in the description below. Another tool that you may want to get as a beginner is a Korean verb conjugator to help you, well, conjugate verbs. Just type in the verb and it gives you conjugations. There's, there's nothing else that I can say about this resource. It's also in the description. And finally, the most powerful tool in my back pocket for any level is Naver's spelling machine tool. A spelling machine, you ask? Well, it does a lot more than just fix your spelling. It basically fixes everything you type into correct Korean. Now, it's not perfect because it doesn't know if you meant to write one word or another, but it does a pretty decent job fixing grammar, word spacing, and misspellings. And I'll add links to not only one made by Naver, but also a second one made by Taum. Just don't rely on this tool too much or you might never put it down. Keycat. Keycat? Keycat? Whatever. Now, if you're advanced, I also have a few more tools for you. First, I want to share another lesser known resource called Kungip Kugowon, or the National Institute of the Korean Language, which is the official source on the Korean language. And they have everything. So if you can't find the answer to that really obscure Korean question that you have anywhere else, you can probably find it there. Just make sure to search in Korean. 
Another dictionary that you might want to have as an advanced learner is a dialect dictionary, also made by Kungip Kugowon. This dictionary even includes a dialect map, so you can find out exactly where each word is used. And that's everything! So did I miss any tools that you use and love? Let me know in the comments below. Also, special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and YouTube members out there for helping me to keep this channel going. And thanks for watching! I'll see you again next time. Kuram, Tameitoba!